If you're using Psychopair to correct redness and you want to use foundation as well, this is how you can layer them. I personally get the best results when I apply Psychopair onto freshly moisturised skin. I've just used the Aven Tolerance Hydra 10. First of all, literally just using a little bit from the lid, like that is loads. I'm going to warm this between the fingertips and really gently pat it on. Now, it's really crucial with Psychopair because it does have this minty kind of tint to it not to use this anywhere that you aren't expressly red because otherwise it will just look out of place. But when you put it onto areas of redness, it should hopefully start to detract away from that high colour. If you have a warmer complexion, you might find that this step is more effective for you if you use more of a terracotta coloured colour corrector. Just finishing off what I had on my finger there and I'm using lots of little taps instead of rubbing because rubbing will not only lift the coverage but it may exacerbate the redness. There's a little comparison to show you the difference between the two sides. Now what we want to do is keep the green over the areas of red and not move it to any other areas and the best way to do this is continuing to press makeup on rather than rubbing it in. So contrary to many things I've probably said to you in the past, I'm going to use a sponge to do this. Use any foundation that you already have. I'm going to use some of Lisa Eldridge's Seamless Skin and then really gently I just want you to press the foundation over the top. The actual irony of this is the last time I saw Lisa, I asked her what she thought of like green colour correctors and things to cover redness. She actually doesn't believe in using green. <laughs> and then I'm going to press a tiny bit more over the area of redness and take the excess through the forehead here. And that feels really well covered, but I don't feel like I've got green under my foundation. Now I'm going to show you why all of that was so important. Let's just take loads of Psychopair and put it straight onto the skin and try and rub it in. Okay, I know I'm proving a point here, but even that is a bit much for me. So let's Let's take that down. Okay, let's remove the majority of this and then let's work this into the skin using a fair bit of pressure. It has taken the redness down, but not particularly well. Let's put a little bit more on, still using a full pressure and just take it all over, not just over the areas of redness. I always say with redness, there's such a thing as too much blending. And here I'm using so much pressure that I'm taking the product off before it's had a chance for the coverage to build. So let's just say we play nice. We're a bit gentler, we press on and we build the coverage that we need. And it's actually gonna take a couple of tries because as per my earlier point, I've aggravated the skin by rubbing it so much. Then I'm gonna take the exact same foundation but this time I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to rub this all over the area of green. Up here, this foundation and brush actually work really well together. But down here, the more I rub and try and build coverage over that redness, the more I'm actually lifting all of these products off. I'm going to try my best and keep wiping. But all I'm doing, the more I rub it in, is rubbing everything off. Now look at how much redness is showing through here versus this side, which has a completely full coverage because we really gently pressed everything on. Let's finish it properly. You know the Aesop's fable of the hair and the tortoise? It honestly applies to your makeup. If you take your time and you're gentle, it will go beautifully. And if you rush and like scrub it on, it just never works, which isn't exactly what they said in their popular children's fable, but it was very close. So to summarise, you absolutely can use your Dr. Jar under your makeup, but I would use a tiny little bit and press any additional layers over it so that you're not mixing things together.